So, did you know that in Godot you can create a typewriter effect for your dialog boxes super easily? This can be a great way to boost the feel of your UI, for example in a visual novel game. To set up a typical visual novel UI layout, we can use a texture rect for the background and the character who is currently speaking with the player, and then have a VBox at the bottom of the screen where we'll show our text below the character's name. By the way, don't forget that if you're curious about the basics of UI and making responsive interfaces in Godot, you can check out this other video I made on that topic. But anyway, for the dialog text itself, a cool solution can be to use a rich text label node. Because with this node, if you enable the BB code enabled option at the top, then you'll be able to set per character styling to emphasize certain words and better style your dialogues. Of course, you should just make sure that you enable its fit content option to properly show the text, give it a minimum height, and have it spread to the whole screen width, and then of course you can also style it in various ways to better match the rest of your UI. Also, as a quick side note, because they've got this BB code option, rich text labels can be a great tool for tooltips, too. For example, in the game I'm currently working on, which is an idle game about stars and constellations called Lightem, I've got this skill tree that adds an extra RPG-ish component, and in here, every time I hover a skill in the tree, the little tooltip that pops up is done using a rich text label, which allows me to show bold characters, icons, and more. Oh, and if you're curious about Lightem and you want to support this project, you can add it to your wishlist on Steam, and there's already a free demo available. So feel free to test it out and give me your feedback. But in any case, here another nice thing with a rich text label is that, just like a regular label node, it has this property called visible characters. This makes it straightforward to display characters one by one and get our dialog box typewriter effect. More precisely, to do this, you just need to give this rich text label node a new script, and then inside, put a bit of logic like this one. This will be an easy to call function that displays a given line of text character by character. And well, that's basically it. You've now got a basic dialog box that shows your line of dialog character by character. Ok, but now let's say that you want to have multiple languages in your game. So, for example, you have a simple CSV file, and you've got an English and a French version. So you want to add them to your project as translations from the project settings panel, and then you'll most probably want to rather pass in the code of the dialogue to show to your function and let Godot auto-translate it. Since by default, label nodes and rich text label nodes have their internationalization option enabled. So once you've updated your demo script to use your localization key, you'll see that the game now shows the dialog in the proper language. Also, if you want, you can obviously chain multiple dialogues. Cause suppose that you've defined a continue action in your project settings in the input map tab. Here for example I'm using the left click. Then in your main demo script you can tell your dialog box where you're at in the story and which character is currently talking, and then in the dialog box script you'll iterate through your dialogues as long as you've got translations for them. Note that for now, I've blocked the continue action until the text has finished displaying, so I can't actually click until my current line of dialogue has finished. But you could of course change that and add a skip action that you also define in your project settings, and that you use in the dialog box logic to instantly show the full current line of dialog and stop the typewriting effect. So there you go. You see that all in all, setting up a basic dialog box system with some extra game feel and quality of life features is actually quite easy to do in Godot, and now you've got the basics of a core tool for your next visual novel game. But anyway, I really hope you liked this quick tip, don't hesitate to react in the comments and subscribe to the channel to get more videos. And of course, a huge thanks to my Patreon members for the support, and to you for watching. And as always, take care.